Guys, there are lots of Python courses on Codecademy, but this one is the most popular, and I am talking about Learn Python 3. Yes, for a platform like Codecademy, this course is super popular. Over two and a half million students have already tried it. It has almost 8000 ratings and the general score for it is 4.6 out of 5. Which is pretty high too. But is this the course you should take to learn Python? My name is Daniel and today I will talk about the Learn Python 3 course on Codecademy. And here are some things I will cover in this video. Course overview, course content, pricing and certification, career opportunities. And of course I will share some final thoughts on this course and if it's worth taking. Ready? Let's start! Course overview. Currently, Codecademy has over 100 Python-related courses, career paths and skill paths, but none of them is as popular as Learn Python 3 course. So what is it about? Well, guys, it's like your gateway to learn all the basics of Python 3 and trust me, it's a game changer. In this course, you will dive into everything from Python syntax to control flow, Boolean variables and logical operators. Now, if you go to the course page on Codecademy, you will see that it takes only 25 hours to complete. And I know it might not seem like a lot, but this course will actually make you invest a lot of effort in your learning. Another thing to note here is it's a beginner-friendly course. However, it's not for complete newbies folks, because you will actually have to come prepared with some solid understanding of programming concepts. So keep that in mind, people. By the way, here is a fun fact. Employees at big companies like IBM and NASA have taken this course. That's why you know you are in a good company with this one, folks. Course content. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Alright, and now let's see what this course's structure and content really looks like. The Learn Python 3 course includes 13 lessons, 12 projects and 12 quizzes. And here are the lessons. Hello world! Get started with Python syntax in this lesson. And then create a point of sale system for a furniture store. Control flow. Learn how to build control flow into your Python code by including if, else and elif statements. Expect to learn all you need to know about boolean variables and logical operators. Lists. Learn about lists, a data structure in Python used to store ordered groups of data. Loops. Loops are structures that let you repeat Python code over and over. Learn how to read loops and write them to solve your own problems. Functions. Learn about code reuse with Python functions. Apply that knowledge to create functions for famous physical formulas. Python code challenges. This is optional code challenge to test your Python knowledge. Strings. Learn all about the Python string object. Figure out how to automatically create, rearrange, reassign, disassemble and reassemble blocks of text. Modules. Learn how modules work in the Python programming language. Dictionaries. Learn all about the Python dictionary structure and how to create and use key value pairs in your code. Files. Learn how to work with files in an automated way. Investigate the properties of text, CSV and JSON files by reading and writing to them. Classes. Learn about the differences between data types in Python and how to create your own classes, objects and interfaces. Python code challenges too. This is one more block with additional code challenges. And finally, next steps. If you can see, guys, there are two optional code challenges included here that you can take. You can successfully complete this course without them. But even despite the fact these challenges are not mandatory, I would highly recommend taking them, guys. When it comes to learning Python coding or any kind of coding, I think you should use every opportunity to practice. Also, there are portfolio projects that this course offers. But keep in mind that you can only get access to them if you have a pro account. And just so you have an idea of what they are like, here is what these projects are about. Receipts for lovely love seats. Store names and prices of furniture items in variables. Calculate the total price and customer's item list and print them to the output terminal. Block letters. Display your initials on the screen in block letters and create an ASCII art. Getting ready for physics class. And in this one you get to be a physics teacher. 
you are going to create some functions that will help your students calculate fundamental physical properties. By the way, here is something that makes learning Python on Concademy more fun and practical than everywhere else. With almost one project for every module, you are not just learning theory, you are building real stuff. And here is how it works. They lay out the goal of the project and give you some starting code to kick things off. You get to dive into their integrated code editor and craft your own solution. In case you have some issues and feel like you cannot make any progress, no worries. There is a get unstuck section with video walkthrough of the entire project. And I have to say, I love this a lot. Because instead of just learning individual concepts, you are actually creating something real. Pricing and certification. Alright, and now you know what this course is all about, let's answer an important question. How much does this cost? And I am happy to tell you guys that you can take this course on Codecademy for free. But there is something you have to know before you take the course. First, you will have limited access to the course content. This means that you won't be able to take the portfolio projects I mentioned earlier. Second, you won't get a completion certificate. But of course, if nothing of this bothers you, feel free to enroll anytime. But if you decide to get full access, you will have to get Codecademy Pro, a subscription plan. Actually, Codecademy has two pay subscription plans, with monthly or annual billing options. There is the plus plan. It's great if you are looking to build valuable technical skills for work or a personal project. And there is the pro plan. It's great for those who want to have a career in the tech industry. Opting for the annual subscription will save you a considerable amount compared to the monthly payment plan. And I get it, folks. Paying for months of subscription might not seem like an attractive idea. But I have to say Codecademy prices are much more affordable than other platforms. Besides, when you pay for a subscription, you get access to all courses and resources on the platform. And I think it's cool. And what about certification? Again, folks, you can only get a completion certificate if you are a pro or plus member. And you have fully finished the course. But here is the thing. To get the certificate, you need to complete all the content in the course. This includes lessons, projects, quizzes, articles and videos. And sure, you can add Codecademy certificates to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But unfortunately, they will not be recognized by any colleges or employers. So, the skills and knowledge that you get here is much more valuable than the certificate you get. Is the Learn Python 3 course on Codecademy worth it? Ok, and finally, let's answer the big question. Should you take the Learn Python 3 course today? And honestly, I see no reasons why you shouldn't, folks. I mean, it's free. And if you don't care much about the portfolio projects or the completion certificate, you can easily take it free of charge. Besides, it offers some solid knowledge. Not only theory, but also quite a lot of practical stuff. That's why if you are a beginner and want to get a solid introduction to Python, I think this would be a great choice. Alright, my fellow developers, and that's all about my review of the Learn Python 3 course on Codecademy. Don't forget to check out the useful links in the description down below, they can be super helpful. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, until next time.